Hello all, in this video we will see the next generation IDE for IoT, VS Code with Platform IO, an advanced IDE for programming ESP32 and other boards. Instead of using the traditional uh, Arduino IDE, we will be using VS Code with Platform IO. Instead of VS Code text editor, we can also use Atom text editor, but Atom text editor needs uh, uh, Clang installation for uh, code completion. So in this video, we'll be using VS Code with Platform IO, and then program ESP32. First, visit the Visual Studio Code uh, website, and then scroll down to see the comparison of Atom and uh, Visual Studio Code. Both Atom and VS Code are uh, free IDEs. Developer of uh, Atom is GitHub and uh, developer of VS Code is Microsoft. But of late, Microsoft has uh, acquired GitHub. Platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux. Uh, in all platforms, it will work. If you see the editor features, you need uh, Clang installation for uh, code completion in Atom. But uh, VS Code has uh, full-fledged code completion and smart code navigation. Both IDs have built-in PAO home, package managers and library managers. And then serial port monitor also. If you see the debugging tools, the breakpoints and watch points are limited in Atom. But VS Code has uh, full-fledged uh, breakpoints and watch points facility. Apart from that, VS Code has a generic register access, memory viewer and restart of active debug session. So we will be using VS Code with uh, platform I.O. Download the VS Code. It is a 60 MB download. Before installing VS Code, you have to install Python. As Platform IO is built on Python, you need uh, Python to be installed first. Visit the Python website and select the 2.7 version. Do not go for the uh, 3 series version. As Platform IO has some issues with the 3 version. Go for 2.7 version and then uh, download the Python 2.7. Start the installation. Select uh, uh, default uh, settings and add path to exe so that uh, installation is done in the hard drive. Select that and then finish the installation of Python. Once Python installation is over, uh, go for the VS Code installation. Start the VS Code installation, accept uh, agreement and accept uh, default uh, locations, add path to exe and then proceed with the installation. Once the installation is over, launch the VS Code. As the VS Code is launched, you can see the dark skin of uh, VS Code. At the left hand side, uh, you can see some icons at the Explorer where you can go, you can see the project data and then search source control management tools and then debugging tools and finally extensions. You click on this extensions to add additional features from marketplace. Click on the extension and then type in platform IO. Select the platform IO IDE and then click on the green install button. You need internet connection uh, to achieve this. It will take a while for uh, completion of the platform IO ID installation. At the right hand side bottom you can see the progress of uh, installation. Once the installation is over you have to close the VS code and then restart uh, restart VS Code. As soon as the VS Code is uh, restarted, you can see the platform IO icon appearing at the left hand side bottom. You can click on that icon or you click on the home button to get the PIO home. 
at the center you see the PAO uh, icons top is the PAO home uh, below that you see the libraries icon here you can uh, uh, click the libraries icon and then search for the libraries you can search for ESP32 or any other Arduino libraries and then download it below the libraries icon is the boards icon and after that platforms uh, icon and then uh, devices icon where you see the com ports at any time you can uh, click on the PAO icon or the PAO home to get the PAO home uh, explorer window If you want to change the dark screen of uh, VS Code, you click on File, Preferences and then select Color Theme. Here is, you select any light uh, uh, skin. To uh, get the skin effective, you have to uh, click the Reload button or the uh, PIO, Platform I.O. icon. Now the skin has uh, changed to light uh, scheme at the right hand side under quick access you see new project uh, and then uh, uh, import Arduino project open project and then examples for uh, import examples you can click on import examples and then uh, download any Arduino examples to see the intelligence will be uh, typing the code so click on new project and then provide a name for the project let us provide uh, a name blink underscore LED and under board you search for ESP32 and then select the uh, correct board mine is do it uh, ESP32 DEV kit version 1 the board is selected and uh, below that uh, you have to select the framework as Arduino and leave it to a default location where the code will be stored if you want to change you have to untick this and then uh, provide a location click on finish it will take a while to uh, so get uh, get started as it has to create once the dependencies are uh, created you can see the led underscore blink uh, folder under the explorer window to write the code you select the src folder under which uh, uh, under which you can see main.cpp file this is the c++ file where you write your uh, sketch open main.cpp file uh, here you can see include statement include arduino.h which is common for all uh, platform io uh, sketches will be blinking the inbuilt LED on ESP32 uh, on ESP32 the inbuilt LED is mapped to GPIO2 so we use the define statement and uh, LED uh, built-in LED is ma mapped to 2 GPIO2 we use the define statement to uh, uh, declare this and avoid setup uh, you under void setup use the pin mode you can see the intelligence in action while you type the uh, code the intelligence and the code completion in action use the pin mode to declare that uh, LED built-in as uh, output and under loop wide loop use the digital write function to make the built-in LED initially low so when it is low the built-in LED will glow and when it is high it will be off it is reverse in for built-in LED after a delay of uh, 500 millisecond you make that uh, built-in LED high to make the LED off again you provide a delay of 500 you can see the intelligence and the code completion action while you if you want to learn more about the 
uh, functions or uh, definitions you just uh, right click on any uh, declaration or function and you can see the options uh, either you can go to uh, declaration you right click on any function and then uh, uh, click on go to definition you will see the definition of that function in a separate uh, window and uh, again if you click uh, on uh, any function you can go to declaration the full declaration of the function uh, you can view or you can uh, click on peak uh, declaration or peak definition so that the definition or declaration appears within the code itself so the id is very powerful and at the bottom uh, left side you see some icons the uh, tick mark is to compile or build and the uh, arrow mark is to upload the code you can either compile uh, initially compile by clicking on the tick mark or you can directly upload uh, just by clicking on the arrow mark it will take a while uh, compared to the regular Arduino ID it will take some more time while you click on the upload button uh, at the right hand side bottom you see the progress and once you see the connecting uh, indication you have to uh, press and hold the boot button on the ESP32 this is how to upload code onto ESP32 <coughs> now the code is uploaded and you can see the blinking LED in action Now let us uh, test the uh, serial monitor facility of the PIO. For this under uh, uh, wide setup add this function serial.begin 9600. 9600 is the default baud rate of this uh, IDE. Serial.begin 9600 and under wide loop uh, below the first delay uh, function you add this uh, serial dot print line uh, LED on and under the second delay you uh, write this function serial dot print line LED off so that while the LED is on and off this uh, uh, message is printed on the serial monitor now click on the arrow mark to upload <coughs> hold on the boot button while you see the connecting uh, uh, display to upload the code once the code is uploaded click on the plug icon at the bottom to open the serial monitor now you can see the uh, display LED on and LED off according to the blinking of the LED this is how serial monitor works on PIO now let us see uh, the port uh, how the port is selected uh, you click on the devices uh, icon in the center of the PAO uh, icons and you can see the COM ports the selection of the COM port is automatic the PAO automatically selects you need not worry about the COM port selection just to know where the uh, which COM port you can just click on the devices and if you want to change the baud rate you have to click on the platform io.ini under explorer here you can see the uh, settings you have made that is a board and platform uh, framework selected already finally you add the add this code monitor underscore speed equal to the new board rate suppose you want to set the baud rate of id uh, serial monitor as 115200 uh, you add this code monitor underscore uh, speed equal to 115200 and then save this uh, platform ini uh, platform io.ini file and then click on upload once the code is uploaded open the serial monitor now the baud rate has changed so you can see the uh, now the uh, garbage data as the in the code we have used only 9600 now change the code as serial dot begin 115200 and then click on upload once the code is uploaded you click on the plug icon 
to view the serial monitor now you see the display as the baud rate has changed 115200 in the code as well as in the ide this is how to access the serial monitor in pao thank you for watching